Hey art friends, today we're going to draw another character from The Incredibles. Who are we drawing this time? Elastigirl. Elastigirl. What's her real name? Helen Parr. Helen Parr. Elastigirl is much cooler. Yes. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along with us, but before we do that, we need to spotlight one of our art friends. Jude. Jude. And he did our challenge on Friday, which was to draw yourself. Yes. And that's the picture on the left, and he did awesome. I love how it looks. He's, he even drew himself wearing our shirt with the yes. logo on it. Yeah, it looks so cool. And he's even got a picture that it looks like he's been drawing. What is it a picture of in his left, in his hand right there? Can't Can you tell? see it. It's a picture of Jack-Jack. Oh, yeah, now I can see it. <laughs> yeah, he drew himself drawing a picture of Jack-Jack. I thought that was so cool. Can not see it from over here because it looks uh, so small? It's really small on the screen. <laughs> and then on the right, he also did the challenge for... Drawing Violet, Violet yeah. yeah, where she, he uh, added the background behind her and then also drew the underminer way off in the background oh, yeah, I see in the it. distance. And then you could also see there's some cars and windows. It, it's so awesome. I yeah. love his drawings. Congratulations, Jude, on being today's spotlighted artist. Now, if you guys want to be spotlighted in our next lesson, be sure to stay till the very end because we give a challenge at the end of each lesson, and then you can do the challenge and then post the photo, ask, ask your parents to post a photo to Instagram, and you may be lucky in our next art lesson. Yeah. We also want to congratulate all of our art friends that entered into this challenge because we got a lot, and it was super cool to see all of them. You guys are all amazing artists. Okay, you ready to get started? Yes. You got your marker? Some papers and Mar some coloring. Papers and colorings, yeah. <laughs> Now you guys can pause the video if you need to get all your art supplies ready and then come back. But let's get started. Yes. Our first step is we're going to draw Elastigirl's eyes and we're going to repeat a lot of the same steps that we've done for all of the Incredibles. So we're first going to draw two circles towards the top of our paper but in the middle and we're drawing them about this big so that we can draw the iris and the pupil. So I'm going to draw another one over here. Yes. And we also got to be able to fit all of her hair above her head. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's got a lot of hair. Now we're going to draw smaller circles in the top left. This is for the highlight to make her eyes look shiny. Then we're going to draw another circle inside, but we're only drawing part of it because it's behind the highlight. So we're going to do that same thing over here. It's almost like a sideways or upside down C. Then color in that center circle. That's the pupil. So that's the dark part of the eye. And then the iris is the outside part or the colored part. Then we're going to draw another circle or an oval that goes around the whole thing. And this is for the white part of her eye. Go all the way around. And I'm kind of drawing her, uh, the eye so that it's close to the middle of the white part or the center. Or, let's see. See how it looks like her eyes are a little crossed. That way she looks like she's looking at us. Good job, dude. Now let's draw her mask. We're going to draw uh, a curve that goes over, down, back up, over her eye, and end on the other side. <laughs> it's okay if, if your circles get a little bumpy because her mask is black, and so we can fix some of those little wobbles that I have on my drawing. Okay, now let's draw the bottom of her mask. We're going to repeat the same thing, but upside down. Go up over her nose. Back down and connect to the right side. Now we're going to color her mask, but we're going to do that towards the end when we're coloring the whole drawing. Now let's draw her nose. We're going to draw a V shape. She has this kind of a pointy nose. Oh, whoops. Big pointy nose. Uh oh, did... <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, really pointy nose. <laughs> All right, now let's draw her mouth. And I'm going to draw her smiling a lot like Dash. So I'm going to draw it kind of off to the side. She's smiling. And then we're going to draw a big cheek line on the side. Now let's draw her chin. And she has a pointy chin. So we're going to start over here by the mask. Come down for, for the uh, for her chin. Leave a little point. Come back up over to the other side. I'm going to draw the sides a little higher. Good. You did it, man. She looks perfect. Now let's start drawing her hair. She's going to look a lot more like... The last girl once we get her poofy hair in there. Crazy hair. Crazy hair. We're it's gonna not start. Really crazy. <laughs> it's not too crazy. We're gonna start with a point right above her right eye. So we, we could put a little point right there, and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down over her eye and connects to the left side. 
Then we're going to repeat that same step over here. See how I went past the face? Yeah. And we're going to do that same thing over here on the side. Past the face. That way we can draw half of her ears from underneath her hair. So we're going to draw a little J shape under each cheek or right next to her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> now let's draw our hair. Now we're going to start. We're going to leave a little gap right here. We're going to go. We're going to draw a big bump that comes up over and then we're going to start coming around like this and then loop i know it's tricky so if you guys need to you can pause the video if you need more time to do that drop big curve comes down and then right at the end it's going to curl yeah good job you can even curl a little bit more out to the side okay now let's draw the right side we're going to draw another big bump watch this one this one's going to go crazy we're going to go all the way over and then connect to her cheek now it's starting to look like her. Then we're going to imagine that line going behind her head. So this is her hair behind. Yeah, there you go. And then we're going to come out on the other side right here and then connect to that little flip, or that little curl right at the end. It looks like Elastic Girl. Good yeah. job, man. We finished her face. Now we need to draw her body. We're going to keep her body simple to try and keep this lesson a little easier. So we're going to draw two lines that come down for her body. And I'm kind of curving them off to the side, but you could draw them straight down if you want. <laughs> then you, no, you could draw them a curve. little. No, no, it looks perfect. Just draw them a little longer. There you go. And then she has a taller body. Then we're going to connect with a curve down at the bottom. And then draw another curve right above it for her belt. Cool. While we're here, let's draw the eye for the Incredibles logo. And we're going to draw a big oval on our chest. That's for the outside of the logo. Then we're going to draw the eye. So we'll draw a circle at the top for the dot. Then we're going to draw the bottom of the eye. We're going to go up, over, and then back down. Then there's the little swooshes on the sides. And it's a little tricky, but on the, on the left side, we're going to first start by drawing it close to the outside. So we're gonna to touch the outside and then we're gonna get far away and look at that, it gets thicker at the top. Just like that, it looks like a big swoosh. It looks yeah. like the eye is like flying through the air. Then we're gonna re repeat that on the other side, but upside down. So we'll start on the outside up here and get thicker down at the bottom. Cool, now if we want, while we're here, we could go ahead and color in the inside black. Oh, it looks awesome. I like drawing that. We've repeated those same steps yeah. on the other characters. It's so much fun. Now let's draw her legs. We're going to start. We're going to start right here on the side. We're going to draw a big curve that comes down. She's got long legs. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right side. Big, long legs. Now let's draw the bottom of her suit. So we're going to draw a V right here. We're going to start on, on the leg. We're going to come down and then back up. Then we're going to finish her legs. The inside of her legs, we're going to draw them really muscly. muscly. Anyway, so we're going to start right here. We're going to draw a curve that comes into her knee. Then we're going to draw a curve that comes out and then comes to her ankle. And it's really close. See how close I get to her ankle? Perfect. Let's repeat those same steps on the other side. Curve to her knee, then uh, draw a bump, a curve that comes out for her calves, and then back in. Ooh, I drew those calves really thick. <laughs> I'm going to draw the calf a, little, calf a little thicker on the left side, and her boots are black, so if you need to make her muscles a little bigger, you can do that. Let's draw her boots, her toes, so we're going to draw a sideways U, and then we're going to draw her heel. That comes down and back up. Yeah, and you're off the page. That's okay. Yeah. Now we're going to repeat that same step over here. Sideways U. And then her heel comes down back up. Awesome. Let's add a line at the top of her legs for each of her boots. Her boots are super long. They almost come to the very top of her, her leg. Okay, we did it. Now we need to draw her arm. Let's, let's draw the left arm first. We're going to draw that one short. So we're going to draw a V, comes down for elbow, and then back up. Then we're going to draw another V that comes down, 
and then gets close to the end for a wrist. Awesome. Now let's draw her thumb. We'll draw a little curve. Then we're going to draw her first finger, second finger, third, and fourth. Four, four fingers. <laughs> Good job. That looks awesome. Then we got to remember to draw her glove, and she's got really long gloves. So let's draw. We'll draw a line there. Now on her right arm, we're going to draw it stretching really far because she's elastic girl, right? Yeah. So she, we got to draw this one super long. We can tell that's her power. So we're going to draw a curve. Comes right here, comes all the way around and up. Now I'm going to probably end right there so you have room for her hand. Then I'm going to draw another curve. That's, it's going to start right here, but then I'm going to come down. So I'm going to leave a little gap far away, but as I get closer, down here to her body, I'm going to get closer to the arm. Yeah. Now let's draw the hand up here. We're first going to draw sideways U for a thumb. Then let's draw our first finger. I'm going to draw it curved like this. And then we can draw it curving back in. Then I'm going to draw three more fingers. One two, three. And then we can connect it into her wrist. Perfect. And then let's add the end of her glove, little curve. <laughs> we did it, man. You did a great job on drawing Elastigirl. Now, she's going to look so much better once we do what? Color. Yeah, we have to color her. This part, we're going to fast forward. But at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yes. All right, let's do it. Jack, we did it. We finished coloring Elastigirl. Yes. She, she looks so much better colored in. I hope our art friends are going to do the same thing. You guys can pause the video right now to match the same color. I also added white highlights to her gloves and her boots to make them look shiny, but you can leave that part off to keep the lesson a little easier. Now, we're not completely done with our drawings, right? It's challenge time. It's challenge time. We need to challenge our art friends to finish their drawing by doing something in the background. What should they do? Draw a yacht. Okay. With a city in the background that she has to save because the yaw is going to drive or run into the city. the city. I love that challenge. That's an awesome challenge. Yes. So you could draw her standing on the yacht, you could draw the ocean, and then you could draw the city really small way off in the background. You could also add a bunch of the other Incredibles. Who do we have left to draw? Uh, the dad. Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. Frozone. Frozone and Edna. And we gotta, we gotta draw Edna too. Edna. <laughs> We hope you guys had a lot of fun drawing with us. Now, when you're all done with the challenge, remember to ask your parents to take a photo of it and then post your drawing onto Instagram and use two tags, at art for Kids Hub and, and hashtag FKH Challenge. AFKH Challenge. Also, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you get notified when we post a new lesson or even a live stream. Yes. Those are way fun to do. We yes, need, they are. We need to do another one. Yes, we do. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.